Hey everyone, Nikki here, Twilight Huntress from Everyone's Nature. Exciting day besides being able to announce my giveaway winner. That has already been done. And again, congratulations, Galaxy Wolves. Anyway, I got in the mail today my Witch's Roots. And this, alongside of Wolf and Thyme, their regular box, I didn't think would even make it in the month of March. This one went a little bit in limbo on me. And the Wolf and Thyme one, I don't even know where it is right now. I believe it was March 13th or 14th is when it hit an airline in Los Angeles. Poof, gone. I don't know where it is. You would figure like we're on the 22nd now that at some point it would have reached a destination somewhere, somewhere in the world, and it would have updated in the system, but it is gone, gone. So I don't know. I am just a little bit tired of the whole COVID delays excuse for the mail because after a year they would have been able to figure this out and there are so many things I do get in record time but for some reason things still go missing and I just it's just a really good excuse at this point for the like for USPS and for Canada Post and everybody to make for their own shortcomings in the job they're supposed to do that's my thoughts on that anyway it's not about that today it's about witches roots March witches roots and we're gonna see what's in here because like I said before, I just do not look at spoilers, or I haven't for March, which is bonus because I like surprises. I do. I don't know why I kept looking. I think the reason I looked at spoilers before was because I wanted to know, or I wanted to get a feel for the box and the curation and what they were before I started buying into them. So that's why I was getting into the spoilers, but we're gonna get into okay, this Okay, so box let's right just now. get into this box. Of course, you get the first peek. I don't mind. Is there anything to be seen besides what fell out and whatever? Oh, Tree of Life. Okay, just hang on, Nikki. I've got more to say about this box. I forgot to mention before I popped it open, I do love um, companies that have print. I love printed boxes. To me, I look at this box and say, I will repurpose this into something else in my own home. I won't get rid of it. I won't send it off with a package to somebody else if there's been some good giveaway or if I sell something. Anything with a print like the Hag Swag boxes, I'll definitely be keeping in the Witch's Roots boxes, definitely keeping. I don't recall if the Witch's Moon had a really nice print on it, but I'm going to guess so since it's the same company and they just do this. So something fell out of, box, out of the box. So let's just see what that is. We've got a little, a little paper and my dog thinks she's on patrol. So it is, the theme is the Spirit of Spring. I'm gonna read a little bit up on this and like I said in the last video to make these videos a little bit shorter because I tend to like ramble on I do this I have problems as we move towards Ostera oh I guess we kind of missed that but that's okay for this box anyway and prepare to celebrate spring we are overwhelmed with feelings of gratitude for the promise of renewed life most definitely I am just like I'm feeling such a clean clear crisp energy every day I wake up I may not look like it today I've actually got like the biggest sacks under my eyes and my creases have just been enhanced I had a really good sleep apparently too good was I too relaxed and now my face woke up looking like the crypt keeper I don't know but that's <laughs> that's what happened anyway uh, during such vibrant and lively time of year we focus on our spiritual and emotional rebirth yes we do as new herbs flowers and plants begin to awaken and sprout new life, we as well begin to celebrate new ideas, creations, and practices. It is very important as practitioners that we spend time during the season to embrace the beauty journey ahead, knowing that each season uh, our knowledge runs deeper, our intuition grows stronger, and our perception of gratitude overflows. It is truly joyful collection. It, in this truly joyful collection, we celebrate the essence of renewal in its most natural and ancient form. I am like really, really excited. Like this has been a buildup the past months, the past boxes, not just um, the witch's roots or witch's moons, but just the whole rebirth um, has been um, stated over and over again in in the write-up so we're just gonna get into this box never mind here we have got this beautiful artwork um, of the tree of life that's what I was seeing that I got so excited about like how pretty I am just loving that 
I don't know, it's almost a frameable, everything seems frameable to me actually. Every time I pull something really nice out of a box, which seems to be almost everything, I am all like, I need to frame that or stick it on my wall. And it looks like our herb of the month is basil. So we've got basil. And I like to read a little bit on these things as I'm pulling them out. And you know what? Maybe I will just read this. So basil, thank goodness it's the first on the list. So I'm not going to like get a sneak peek of other stuff yet. I don't know about the card, but I won't worry about that artwork right now. But we'll read up on the basil. Most likely originating in India, basil has been found throughout history, dating back thousands of years. The sacred and wonderful herb, excuse me, was dedicated to Krishna and and Vishnu as an offering offering to bring blessings into one's life used across Europe to exercise demons and malevolent m m spirits <laughs> basil is still used to this day for I can say it in my mind but it's not like getting off my lips here uh, used to this day for its ability to keep away evil or to keep evil away in Mexico basil has commonly been found within small businesses to bring wealth, prosperity, and long longevity. Okay, so there they have got a huge write-up on basil, like a book's length write-up, so I'm not going to worry too much about that right now, about reading all of it. So you know basically what, what's what. So here we go. They kind of changed up their color a little bit. They've got like more of the orangey brown paper. And let's just see which way we would be pulling it. Okay. So, again, again, give you the first sneak peek. And there we've got the contents. And you still can't see anything. It's not a bad thing. So, we're going to open the first thing that's sitting right on top that's very purposely wrapped carefully. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just so excited that I did not spoil my mind with spoilers because that oh no like seriously like when we sit and think about what gods and goddesses that we kind of relate to and that we like work with mine i was thinking the other day i've always had my goddess and i will reveal that in another video but i've never had a god that i have like and what's funny is this is this is my draw this was a few weeks ago this is where I was brought to and this is what my decision was the green man I can't believe I even got this in here like so pretty look at the flowers around him it feels like it might be made out of resin we'll read up on it it's got a little hook to hang on the wall which I'll most definitely do I am this was meant to come to me, like I will say over and over again, things happen for a reason. The next thing we're pulling out, I see the herbs in there because right now everything is just wide open. So everything else, we know what it is. We'll just have to find out the sense of it and the colors. So I'm going to pull out this, which looks like, of course, a bottle of some kind of essence or oil or something. We'll find out right away. So we have got, and it didn't leak, a magical anointing oil spring blessings. So this, let's see what it smells like. Probably amazing. It smells kind of soapy to me actually. It reminds me of a soap my grandma had, but maybe she had herbal soaps when I was growing up. I don't know. There's definitely something in there. And I'm sure it's just packed full. It's so hard to see though. I'll try. I'll try. Well, maybe it would work better like this. There's a little bit of light shining through, but as you can see, it's all packed in there. The bottom of the bottle looks darker than the top for some reason. It might be like one of those... Um, bottles that are like that I can't think of the name right now but it smells like I said last time everything has a familiar smell to me but I'm not good at picking out scents so like these oils and um, anointing drops or whatever essence drops or roll-ons or just sprays 
I can't sit there and say the five ingredients that are in there and I even have a hard time picking out one of the ingredients. But this definitely has like a soapy, floral, um, not really sweet, but it's got a really nice scent to it, just saying. But let's read up on it. Um, spring Blessings Magical Anointing Oil. We have created a magical anointing oil with the intention of enhancing the energy that surrounds you, filling your, or filling your aura with the energy of new opportunity and positive intent, including basil leaves as well. Inside your oil, you'll find Lemurian quartz, said to personify oneness into your uh, aura. We've also included a speci special mixture of our Ostera magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into making this anointing oil. And the base is sunflower oil. So whatever their Ostera magical oil is, so they added that. So there's going to be those ingredients, but it doesn't state exactly what all the ingredients are. So um, when you say, when they say basil, I'm sure my grandmother did not have basil in her soap, but who knows? <laughs> We never know. And, um, oh, white tea and bergamot oils. But that still doesn't, that still doesn't give me the scent I'm smelling. So I'm going to have to look up their uh, Ostera oil and see exactly what ingredients are in there. But that smells lovely. It really does. It smells, it smells really good. And then we've got this right on the bottom. I'm glad I didn't like open this up and look because I would have seen spoilers on everything. So, the Pagan Tree Book of Life Shadows Artwork, illustrated by A.E. Alden. Place within your book of shadows for a reference and inspiration, allowing this beautiful depiction of the tree of life to bring healing through understanding and knowing. Okay, and then my favorite piece so far, my man, <laughs> the god that has um, called out to me. A uh, spring green man plaque. We are thrilled to be able to include a beautiful depiction of the spring green man into this collection. The green man has been documented to date back around 480 and is commonly found carved into the exterior of sacred buildings to uh, permit the connection between man and nature. Although there are many interpretations of the green man, we focus our attention in the deep and demanding qualities of rebirth and its connection to nature that surrounds us. As with many ancient symbols, we see reoccurring examples of death and rebirth as a continuous cycle. Allow the green man to remind you of all these beautiful lessons. Sorry, I was just seeing, making sure I still had this lovely guy in frame. Uh, beautiful lessons. Remember that it is relevant to let go of things that no longer serve you and continue to grow through ritual research, uh, inflammation, and never-ending search for understanding. Take time to... Take time during the season to plant flowers, herbs, tending to the earth, and connect to her deep and primal intuition. And I do every year. I've always been somebody who was drawn to planting, playing in the dirt. I always call it playing in the dirt. I play in the dirt all the time. And the basil grimoire, herbal basil herbal grimoire artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor basil this beautiful artwork or add this to your book of shadows herbal grimoire or place on your altar for display so, and again that was actually by a.e aldwin so i'm guessing that is the person that does most of their stuff and then here we have the basil i mean we don't really need to read too much up on it and i may use it in whatever ritual work or in whatever for whatever reason or i may use it for cooking it's probably a fresh basil i'm gonna give it a sniff it's probably a very good oh yeah it's very very strongly scented so to me that says it's a fresh and as long as there's nothing else in there i don't want to like use this in some kind of cooking like in some kind of spaghetti dish and then find out that it has like something in there that I wouldn't want to eat. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it is just pure basil. That's awesome. Oh, and then we have the candle. Um, we have hand rolled this growth and renewal mini spell candle with the intention of promoting joyful and hopeful energies. As you allow the flame to dance around before you take time to re resonate 
with this unique position you find yourself in and brilliant opportunities that stand ahead. Visualize yourself accomplishing new goals and creating new projects. Yes. So let's open that and I'm not even gonna worry about it this time. I'm just gonna rip on into it. There's nothing to say, it's just paper. Oh, I love this shade of green. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too limey. <laughs> It is a really beautiful shade of green. I love that. And it's got a nice tight roll. And I have with my earth, I call it my earth candle. I got that brown candle in my witch's moon. And I did with that one um, infuse things into it before I used it. But you know what? It's not always necessary either, right? You can do it or you don't. You can choose whatever feels good to you at the moment. And to me, right at this moment, just holding this candle and looking at it, it's going to be used as is. It's just going to be what it is. So I love that. I love kind I love the smell of beeswax. It smells, you know, as a kid, we'd actually go to bee farms and, you know, either with school, I've gone with my parents a few times and we've like, you know, had the experience of being around the beehives and actually they actually gave us like beeswax, which had honey in it and let us suck the honey off. And that's just like, again, another, reminiscent moment of a childhood memory right there. So here we've got Spring Blessings Incense. So I'm gonna give it a sniff before we read what's what it actually is. It's got sort of a lemon, lemon scent to it, lemon balm or lemon, um, and maybe actually that anointing oil. Their anointing oils and their incense almost have the same scents I found in them first few boxes I've opened anyway. I haven't been that deep into their boxes yet, but these wonderful fragrant ritual sticks were placed within the collection to clear any negative chatter that tends to linger within your mind, providing you with a clean and clear slate to bring new ideas and interpretations to life. As you allow the smoke of this incense to waft throughout your space, take a deep breath and exhale, visualizing negative thoughts and emotions leaving your body. That's great because I could not do my, my um, oracle pull this morning. I was like, I was feeling blockages. I was getting nothing from my moment there. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it be for now and I'm gonna go, I'll come back to it later and, and do my thing. So this was a great box. I am super excited for, let's just hold it all up for everything I got, especially this. And I mean, if you do not subscribe to at least one box and this is your like direction in life, you should try it and see how it resonates with you when you get the box. Like I have not been disappointed in any um, company that I have decided to um, try out. They've all been really good and there's always something within that box, if not everything, that actually resonates with where I'm at in life and what I'm doing with things I'm doing at that moment in time. So. Yes, I'm happy with Witch's Roots. Thanks again for joining me for another unboxing of a metaphysical subscription. Um, I hope you all have an amazing day and do like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.